third phase. What? And right now we got Ed on the line standing by, but before we get to him, I just wanted to say we at Third Phase of Moon are putting this footage out due to the fact that we believe that it should be seen. It's not up to us to suppress footage or not share what's coming in. In regards to this kind of phenomenal catch, what it is, we're not sure, but we're happy to get Ed in. Ed, thanks for joining us right here at Third Phase. Hey, hey Blake. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for contacting me. Um, what did you think of the footage? Well, there are a few things that I want to go over with you in detail. Thanks for being with us right here. Uh, first of all, you know, it's it almost looks like a movie. It looks so beautiful. It almost looks like a some kind of big budget Hollywood thing. What was it like? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to laugh at you, but it's, 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 you got to hear the story. I, I appreciate you saying it looks beautiful, and I got to tell you, Blake, this is one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had in terms of uh, just the awe, the spectacle. You, you could probably see at one point the wind moving the, 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 the trees, the, 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 the energy, the, 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 the motion that was happening as a result of this craft was just amazing. Well, that's I, what uh, I like. I, well, what's that? Yeah, sorry, Ed, for interrupting, but you mentioned the trees. As this uh, craft or whatever it was passed over, you could see that's what that's what made us decide to put this out here is because of this interaction with the craft and trees in itself. It seemed like it left some kind of wind. Behind. Hey, did you? Uh, you know, I, what did I it feel like? You, I actually sent it to you twice. I didn't know if you'd gotten it first because I didn't hear back from you right away like I usually did. So I sent it to you again. So uh, I'm glad you're asking about it because I am just still in awe over that. I've had many experiences, but this one was unlike any other in terms of the spectacle. It was just the perfect time. And, you know, you might notice that there's someone else in the shop. My neighbor who lives on the parcel down the road from me, he, I never met him. He came and knocked on my door and he asked me if I had any seen anything. And, you know, I, I wanted to meet my neighbor and be kind, but, you know, I just said, why don't you come over? He came over, and I had a feeling we were going to experience something, Blake. And, you know, I got all set up. I'm not a professional cameraman, but I have been doing this, and I have got a, a tripod and my camera there. And I had a feeling, and he brought his camera, too, and he got some still shots. You, you, you might see at one point, right before it takes off, you could see he actually steps in front of the camera, and I'm, I, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I'm, like, pushing him out of the way. He's trying to get his own shots. Um you know, I, I haven't talked to him about third phase of the moon. He, uh, he, he left the experience uh, at a loss for words, as, 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 as you know, I always am. And I have a hard enough time talking to you on the phone. But um, uh, well, my, neighbor's, my neighbor's name is Dustin. I'm not going to give out his last name. And uh, I, I think I'm going to be able to get you some still photographs from him as well. But, uh, you know, that, that footage that I just sent you, Unbelievable. Wasn't it just special, wasn't it? What is special? It is a, a incredible sight. And what I like is that you have another person besides yourself now. That uh, I've this. always had other people there, but as you know, I've told you time and again, uh, this is not my career. This is not my... Uh, this is not my deal. It's not my, even my focus in life. I learned a long time ago that uh, telling people what I've seen, even showing them stuff that I've seen, that's not going to get me anywhere in this life. Let me ask you this, Ed. Uh, you know, when you had this experience with Dustin, they're absolutely, uh, you know, a clear image of the video itself. There is that flashing light in front of the lens. You're saying you're trying to call him down? Uh, Blake, I've seen this craft before. I've experienced it before. I had contact with the life form on the craft, but I've seen it and I remember it. I've seen it more than a couple of times in different parts of the country. But, you know, I've been shooting and I've been collecting data and, and film. And, and, and I have, and the equipment that I have today is not what I had 30 years ago when I first seen this craft is what I'm trying to say. And what I have now is the best equipment as I've ever had. And I even got a laser pointer now. And, um, you know, Again, I'm not making a career of this. I have this happening in my life because I'm chosen or I'm special. I don't know the reason. 
where I live. I don't know. I've been over and over with you guys about my history. But, um, you know, thank goodness we're living in the day we live. We got the technology we have now. The cameras that I have now are not the ones that I had 30 years ago. But even so, this uh, this sighting was dramatic. You well, let me see ask you this. The footage, Blake. You can see it yourself. Yeah, everybody's looking at this footage. We invite anybody to take a look at Ed's footage. That's why we put it out there. We've decided that I think people should analyze it, blow it up, see if. And I, 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 I gotta interrupt you and let you know this thing. You know, I, I don't have any powers. I can't summon these things. <laughs> you know, why do I have these sightings and others don't? Or maybe others do and they're just not talking about it. I'm talking about it. I'm sharing it. But uh, you know, this was. This was quite incredible, really a beautiful spectacle. And to have my neighbor, Dustin, witness it with me, that made it even more, um, you know, special. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you, uh, Ed, is about Dustin's experience after this footage was captured. Blake, I hate to interrupt you, but you got to slow down. Because as I said, he's my neighbor. And up until a few days ago, I never had more than a couple of words with him just passing by. He came and knocked on my door. I invited him over, and I had a feeling, and this is what happened. So as far as him, you know, validating, he got some stills he's going to share with me, and I'll ask him about sharing them with y'all. But um, you have to ask him those questions yourself. I don't know him well enough. Um, you know, it's, it's a difficult subject. Let me ask you, you know, the question is, Ed, is what was Dustin's reaction after this encounter? It's It was so, you know, when you look at it, it's um, it's incredible. It's amazing. What was the reaction? Blake, I don't know the man well enough. What I can tell you is that his reaction was nothing. It was nothing. There was no reaction. I'm not saying he was cold. I'm not saying he was mean. I'm not saying... Uh, I'll certainly tell you this. He wasn't doing jumping jacks. He wasn't screaming and yelling. He was watching. And when we finished, we said goodbye and he left. And I've talked to him since, and he's told me he got these stills, but, you know, this, this is an incredible experience we all had, and um, it's special. So, the um, best I can offer you, I don't know if I'm answering your question, is I'll try to get a hold of him, and I'll follow up with him, and I'll say, hey, can I see your stills, and you mind if I share them with some friends of mine? That's about the best I can do for you. Well, wow, Ed, uh, you know, incredible. I'm sh I'm glad that you keep in touch with Third Phase Moon. You're keeping us, uh, you know, keeping an open mind to what you're capturing over there. And I'm hoping that Dustin could come forward and you get in touch with him. Well, no, 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 no promises on that front. But I will contact him, and uh, I, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't share your stills. But, you know, you, you're asking me questions I can't answer, and I sound tongue-tied. Um, I apologize for that, but... Uh, I, again, I appreciate you folks. I appreciate you folks, Blake, and your brother Brent, and uh, and your own, you know your third phase of Moon. I think what you're doing is, is is great. It certainly is good for me. It gives me a place to share, and that's all I'm looking for. And uh, you know, I have no control over, the, over what comes of this. Um, I'm not looking for celebrity, and I know my I know my neighbor Dustin's not. Uh, but, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for being there. You know, Ed, this is uh, incredible, and this footage is one of the most amazing uh, shots, like you said, that's coming into Third Phase of Moon over the past year. You know, you always get these incredible shots. That's what amazes me. But your testimony on the ground is what people want to hear as well. Well, so uh, I, what I can tell you, Blake, is that I got some new equipment. I got a new tripod, and I got a new camera, and that's one of the reasons why I invited my neighbor Dustin over. Um, and I also went and got this laser pointer so that I could point out in the sky where I'm going. And I got to tell you, I, I mentioned earlier that I don't think I have the, the power to summon or can't explain why I have all these sightings. But I had a feeling tonight as I shot this on, on the 11th that, uh, that it was going to happen. And I got to tell you that I think that the... the, the the laser pointer, I know this sounds crazy, but the laser pointer was almost of interest to the craft. It was like almost like my pointing it uh, brought it out to a visible station. And I don't know if that's true or not. That's just the gut feeling I had. 
you know, you could see in the footage this craft is, you know, essentially the size of the house, 35 feet by 25 feet, and moving in the sky at a speed that is just surreal. I mean, it, it, it's nothing like I, I can tell you. You got to see it for yourself to understand. But you could see it in the house and foreground, and then by the tree, and then. My goodness, the energy that it was—it wasn't like a, a gust of wind. It was more like a uh, an energy sense of steadiness that caused wind, and it was almost less wind. If that makes any sense, that you thought you'd be feeling, uh, you could see it, but then you couldn't really feel it. There was no sound, as usual, no sound at all. But um, the energy was unmistakable. Wow, Ed, what would you have to say to people around the world listening to us right now at Third Phase of Moon, looking at your footage? Um, should they be keeping an eye out for these things? Yeah, they want to. I can't tell anyone what to do in their world, in their lives. Uh, sure, go down like I did and spend a couple of hundred bucks on getting some new equipment. It was a long time past my due to upgrade what I've been using. I think the last time I made a purchase was back in the 1990s. But... Um, you know, it's good to have new equipment, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, this is an experience that I really am glad I would have a forum with Third Phase of Moon to share with. Wow, you know, Ed, it's quite amazing. It's like you have stepped up, and you're getting this uh, really amazing footage. Now you got a partner involved, Dustin. I, I'm hoping that oh, you... Oh, hold your horses on that one. Again, this is a neighbor of mine. He's not a close personal friend, you know, what can I say? You know, I'm having a tough time talking with you tonight. Did you ask him? experiences leave you speechless. I'm not a well-educated man. I don't want to have a lot of... You know, Ed, did you ask uh, Dustin if he's going to share this these stills that he's captured? I will, I will. I told you I will. I'll ask him. I, I see no reason why he wouldn't. But I can't promise you anything more than that. I'll reach out to him. Who knows? Maybe he'll call, call you on the phone and get on your radio program. All right, Dustin, if you're listening, uh, Third Phase of Moon, when we put this video up, hey, contact Ed, contact Third Phase of Moon. Reach out. We'd like to see these pictures, this collaboration. We see in the video there's two people, the cameraman, yourself, and uh, Dustin, as you say, in front of this shot, getting out of the way, and then and then this UFO taking off, a cylindrical UFO. A, a, in, almost looks something straight out of you know like a close encounters third kind in your face video people are going to no, say no, I, Blake, I got, I'm sorry to interrupt you again I, I apologize for that uh, but I gotta tell you I thought we were going to have a visitation I thought this was going to be one of those moments because the experience was so uh, I mean just it was amazing amazing I really thought that, uh, that they, we were going to have contact and uh, you know I uh, I kind of pushed Dustin out of the way at one point, and I almost grabbed him at the same time because I was like, "Get ready, we're gonna we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a, a visitation at this point." And I don't know, maybe he did, maybe I didn't, and he did. Again, when this was done, we, we kind of said our goodbyes, and that was good night, and I'll talk to you soon, and we talked a little bit, but you know, this kind of ex this kind of experience leaves you speechless. What do you say, Ed? incredible and thanks for, again for joining us right here at third thank phase thank you very much blake and your brother brent too and i appreciate you guys being there you know what we want in the future and stay safe over there and uh and reach out to reach out to your neighbor dustin is that you know we want to get interviews with you we want to be on location meet the man meet ed oh uh, i i can't promise you anything but i will tell you this i appreciate third phase of moon and you guys saying be safe I gotta tell you, as, as awe-inspiring as this experience is, and all my encounters, I gotta honestly tell you, I'm not a macho man, but there's no fear involved. There's no fear here. There's no fear. There's no Hindenburg. This is no atrocity. This is the life we're living, and it's amazing. Wow. With that, Ed, you know, thanks again for joining us. We'll be keeping in touch with you in the next couple of days. Have your phone uh, close by, Ed. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Ed. And we're going to continuously show some more footage right here at Third Phase of Moon. Some close-ups, some analyzations, some brightness contrasts. Everybody, 
space. around the world watching this right now if you've like seen moon. anything like this and have captured it share it share it with us right here at third phase moon blake cousins keep your eyes on the skies people we're not alone we'll see you again like next moon. time